Hey guys, and it's time for another monthly favorites video. The first thing I want to share with you this month is my beauty favorite, and this is the Maybelline Falsies Flared Volume Express Waterproof Mascara, and I know I don't really have autofocus, but that's what it looks like. What I love about this is that um, it does not come off. I have really oily eyes I, for some reason, and I've tried tons of waterproof mascaras, but they always kind of end up around the bottom of, or like under my eye by the end of the day, and this doesn't, which makes me super excited, and I felt like I had to include this because this was the only beauty product I've ever used, and then literally laughed out loud because I was so excited about how well it worked. If you have issues with kind of raccoon eyes, I would check that out. The next favorite I have is actually a song favorite and that is Suit and Tie by Justin Timberlake and I've been absolutely obsessed with this song. I've just been playing it over and over again but the version that I'm actually liking the best is the cover that Tyler Ward did and he's a musician here on YouTube as I'm sure you all know. So I'm just gonna play you a little bit of that. I think this is okay to do. So I've basically had that song on repeat like all month. Actually, I love all of Tyler Ward's covers, so yeah, I will link him down below, check him out, show him some love. He does some really amazing, amazing music. The next favorite I want to share is a TV show favorite, and this is Fantastic Four World's Greatest Superheroes, because apparently I'm a 12-year-old boy. This is a great series. Um, it's animated, and I'm actually not sure what network it was on first or what channel. I think it's either Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network, one of the two. The whole series is on uh, Netflix, so I've just kind of been streaming that while I do art projects and stuff, and I absolutely love it. The character voices are hilarious, and I, I'm a big fan of superheroes, Marvel in particular, so yeah, I've really enjoyed watching that. Next, I have a reading favorite for the month, and that is Turn of the Screw by Henry James, and I'm reading it for class. But it's so good. It's kind of a suspense, um, Victorian Gothic-esque um, short story. He is very complicated in his sentence structure and just his overall word choice is very advanced and it's very packed with lots of meaning. So that's always a ton of fun to kind of dissect and find out what he's really talking about. If you like Jane Eyre at all, and especially if you saw the newer movie um, where they kind of played up the gothic, real creepy elements of the story, then you'd really like Turn of the Screw. My next favorite I've been using obsessively since I saw this in a Miss Glamorazzi video, and that is the Apple Wonderlist. I'm actually using it right now. I don't know if that's going to show up, but you can basically keep a bunch of different lists on here and you can do like lists within your lists of things to do and it's amazing. I've been planning all my videos this way and it's a lot easier because you can kind of just like jot down a few points and then keep it down here on your lap and kind of glance down between takes. Kind of along the same lines, I've been really obsessed with Goodreads this month. I've had so much reading for school this month. Um, I think I've probably gone through about six different books for um, different classes, whether they're short stories or actual novels, um, and I find Goodreads very motivating because you can go in and you can say, um, you know, I'm on this page, and then you can see how much progress you've made, and that really helps when you're kind of not loving something and you're suffering through it because you have to. And I'm going to link it down below in pretty much all of my videos from now on, so uh, if you would like to come be my friend on Goodreads, I would love to see what you're reading as well. Now, of course, for the end, I have to do my YouTuber favorites, and kind of following the theme of last month's favorites, I have a beauty guru, beauty vlogger, vlogger? Labels are confusing. I have been loving watching Essie Button's videos. What I love about her videos is that it really just feels like you're talking to somebody. Um, she just kind of sits and says whatever comes into her mind, and she's a little random, and, and sometimes her videos are really long, but I love watching them, and I will sit there and I'll watch one of her like 17 minute videos because they're so engaging, and she's just hilarious. I mean, she says crack a lackin. Maybe that's a Canadian thing, because I know she's from Canada, but she she says crack a lack and like, you have to go check her out just for that. My last YouTube favorite um, would have to be the booktube community in general, and I'm not going to go into that because I made a whole video about that, but I will link that down below or here in the space of the video somewhere as well. So 
yeah, um, I hope you guys have all had a great month. I know mine's been super crazy busy, um, as well as a lot of fun. So if you have any favorite items for this month, why don't you tell me down below in the comments? I hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you can go do something fun right now, because I actually have to go back to school for class. So yeah, go do something fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye!